you talked about Cam being a professional just coming off the bench, and now that he's starting to have this kind of game, how proud are you of him just sticking with it and just showing what he did tonight? Yeah, just sticking to the course. Um, it's part of life, you know, things might not go your way and things you might not like, but just him to stay professional, stay ready, and, um, you know, hoop tonight for us is, is big, and for him to continue to do that, you know, every night. Um, so we're going to eat. How do you kind of just start things going as a group and how contagious was it to see him knock down some threes and then that just trickled down to where you guys made 22? Yeah, it was good. I mean, he set the tone, um, but I think just us getting stops, you know, defensively, I think we held him to like 15 points or something in the first quarter. But, um, you know, making shots always helps, but getting stops, you know, that was the biggest thing. And Cam getting going offensively, got everybody else and really got Dennis in the rhythm. Um, so it was great. It was great to see. You have another matchup against this Hawks team on Saturday. Um, just what's going to be key to replicating it all in another big time game for you guys? Yeah, it's kind of like it's like a playoff matchup. You know, you see the guys again. So I think they're gonna have their adjustments. Um, we gotta have ours as well and prepare for whatever they do. But it just starts, you know, playing hard and and playing together. I think that's the biggest thing: sharing the ball, but you know, defensively just helping each other out. You know, guarding and you know, if you get beat, you know, your next guy gonna help you. Jay, we talked about walking through what the offense looks like when teams put two on the ball against you. And tonight, you guys got a ton of good looks, open threes off that. What were you seeing out there tonight, whether it was your decision making or your teammates' decision making? Yeah, um, you know, just putting two the ball. And I, you know, I never was maybe in high school, but mm -hmm. last year, kind of a little bit in the playoffs. But that was something that I was always taught, you know, bringing two to the ball. That's an advantage for us. And, um, you know, always being a guy in a corner and always being a guy waiting for somebody else to get blitzed. And now I'm kind of being in that position. You know, I, it's just it makes the game easier. And I trust my teammates. And, you know, hitting clacks on a roll, his decision making was great. I'm going to continue to need that. But, you know, I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, it doesn't bother me at all, you know, when they blitz or anything like that. Because I know my guys are going to open looks. And, you know, so they're just doing a great job finding each other and knowing when to cut. And, you know, like I said, clacks, playmaking and stuff as well. You guys were able to score, I believe it was, uh, I think it was like 42 points that Dennis Schroeder could tribute to, and a lot of that, the 19 points off of his seven assists. What have you just seen from him and how that chemistry has grown with Dennis being able to consistently find you guys? Yeah, just, it's just him playing basketball. That's how he plays. You know, he plays the right way. Um, but it's just, you know, new and, you know, just new system a little bit. We're just keep changing system, trying to find the right offense. But him just finding his groove and finding – the right play and um you know that's what he does i'm happy that he's finding each other and you know you got a lot of guys open looks what did you think when day day hit those two threes i knew he was geeked i know he was geek <laughs> i was geek for him though um but he can shoot so it's kind of like that's kind of him showing and you know displaying it out there you know sometimes when he gets opportunity he might be a little tired and that's when it might not hit the rim so he had a couple air balls in a year where it looks like, okay, don't have, don't let that guy shoot. But I know he can shoot. So it's good that he had his, you know, his, his wind under him and, you know, he was confident out there. You guys are obviously four back of Atlanta entering this game and, you know, 24 or so games left. Do you feel like the team was viewing these two games as kind of like a make or break stretch, you know, with the regular season coming to a close? I mean, yeah, I feel like that's every game. You know, that's what it feels like in treating everything, just win a game. That's the biggest thing. It's just how what are we gonna to do to win the game, and that's what I think we're doing. And you know, I know I'm gonna be one of the guys, but that's what I'm here for. Just trying to win, and um, I know everybody else here wants to too. So we're just gonna to continue to find ways, and you know, play one off one another, and keep playing hard.